Hey everyone, it's me, Bait, and, um, you know, I was sort of thinking, like, we, we don't have a lot more people joining the channel and enjoying the videos, and I feel like this format, you know, the scenery's getting a little bit too outdated, you know, I've done it for about over a year now, and it's like, I thought we might switch it up, you know, we, we've had the same Girl as Humans poster and the same MF Doom poster on the wall, so I thought, hey, if I get one, I'll just change it, right? Rest in peace, Doom, but I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go. I mean, the posters, it's, it's starting to get a little bit fucked anyway, and I kind of want to keep these posters in good condition. Uh, this one came with the record, so let's just, um, we peel this off. Let's just, oh, well, what is, oh, what, well, in, on second thoughts, let's just keep everything the way it is, shall we? Hello, everyone, my name is Bait. I hope you're all having a great day. Today is a video of a record I sort of hinted at a little bit. Not really, kind of. Almost, I referenced it in one of my other Gorillaz videos. Yep, it's another Gorillaz video. I looked at my uploads and I realized, holy shit, I've done three fucking videos without making another Gorillaz video. What am I, what am, what have I done in my life? With that being said, I decided to go on my big fucking shelf and dig through some Gorillaz shit. Um, and this is a record release that I feel like a lot of people don't even know exists. Um, for the bigger, you know, the bigger fans, maybe, yes, but for the majority, probably not. Um, and that is the Gorillaz Singles Collection. The song, the uh, singles from Gorillaz from 2001 to uh, 2011. Bit of a, a little backstory, basically, when Plastic Beach was released, um, you know, he had, uh, you know, the album come out and then Don Comatic came out after that. And then Gorillaz just kind of went on hiatus. They did a, a um, collaboration with Converse. And then that was kind of it. The main cause of that was just money, uh, as well as creative differences between uh, Damon Albarn and Jamie Hewlett. You know, oh, there's not enough music for this album to perform live, and oh, there's not enough visuals for live, and and blah, 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 whatever. Anglers pretty much went on hiatus uh, until Humans came out as their, like, you know, their comeback. But on their hiatus, a album was released, the singles collection, and it's here right now. You may have seen this artwork before, with all the uh, artwork there, fa uh, from phase one to phase three. And um, you may have had, seen the, like, the CD of this, I know the CD was very successful, but vinyl, not so much. Now this is actually a vinyl, um, well it's a vinyl box set. Um, if you saw my video I made about the Cracker Island 7-inch uh, collector's box set, I did reference this and I said it's pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, there's two versions of this. You have this one, which is the box set, and there is also a gatefold two time, you know, two record set as well. Um, both very rare to find now nowadays. And I was actually going to try and look for one that I could I could you know buy and show you guys um, in this video. But before recording, I had a look online just briefly, and I was contemplating a little bit. I thought, well. You know, I would like to just, you know, keep my kidney and not have to fucking shill that out just for a record that I pretty much already own on, on vinyl. Um, but without further ado, let's have a look at Gorilla's Singles Collection 2001 to 2011, the 7-inch collector's box set, I guess. And you can already notice a similarity with this in the Cracker Island box set, seeing as it's small, 7 inches, it's a box set. This one's a lot more glossy. You have the songs at the back there as well. Uh, I believe you have the CD version of this, it comes with some other bonus material. The other box set opens up like a an iPhone box, if you will, where the, the top just lifts off, whereas this one is more like a uh, <laughs> more like a pizza box, if you if you will, like so. But before looking at the records, it does come with a poster, just like the CD version as well, you do get a poster. This one seems to be two-sided, so you can choose whether you want to have this side on display, uh, they've sort of put like a reddish sort of color overlay to everything just so everything sort of looks in place and doesn't look too messy and then on the other side you have more artwork and then inside we have the singles now these are two uh, sided uh, vinyl records um unlike the cracker island ones and uh these have two songs on each side so that's why the boxes are a little bit um smaller but let's have a look through them so the first record we have is clint eastwood with the Ed Case and Sweet Eerie remix on the other side. Uh, you, I've shown this artwork before because I've had the 12 inch single of this before. That's what the Clint Eastwood side looks like. That's what the remix side looks like. And opening up the record, these are all black. 
from what I can remember. And so you have Clint Eastwood there on one side, and the other side is pretty much, you know, the very, very similar. It's got the, the same like, collage um, uh, artwork that we've seen on the front, except this is the remix side. These are also all on black vinyl, so no special colours today, um, but whatever, it's fine. Up next is 192000 and the 192000 Soul Child remix. I think these two go really well, like this one and the Clint Eastwood one, just because, you know, we've had the remixes of them before, it makes sense to put them together. There's the 192000 artwork that we've seen a lot, uh, you know, for a, a long fucking time, that's what I'm trying to say. It's going to take me a long fucking time to get my words out. Uh, there's the front of it. Again, you may have seen this on like CDs and shit as well. And there's the backside, which I do like this sort of um, this artwork here of how it shows like all different masks making up the 192000 mask. So you got like a samurai uh, mask there, and you got a gas mask, and sort of like a tribal mask there, and a hockey mask all make up the 192000 mask. Um, I don't think have any of the characters actually worn this before. Maybe once in like you know maybe some promo artwork. And then okay. So here is the, whoa, whoopsie doopsie. So there's the 192000 uh, side there. Again, more of the sort of artwork that we've seen on the front. I, I'm not sure if that's actually for all of these, but we'll have a look. And on the other side, yeah, the exact same for the remix. Next we have Tomorrow Comes Today and Rock the House. I'm a big fan of the Rock the House um, artwork there. I don't, think, I don't think I actually own this one on the 12-inch single. I think that might be the one that I'm missing yeah because i have tomorrow comes today on like two different there's two there's two single uh covers for this single here you have this one which is blue and they have one which is white with a big black g on it in like a college sort of uh font and inside yeah okay i think we are just going to get <laughs> the same sort of collage of images there's rock the house side and then there's the tomorrow comes today side next we have feel good ink and dare probably the one that i've played the most because I've, I've had a look through these and, oh, yes, I, I realise I have had a, a little play of this, because I've just noticed this giant fucking crease. I do not know how that happened. What the fuck? I thought I, I, thought I looked after it a lot better than that. What the fuck happened there? Hmm, that's a bit of a shame. And it's really glossy, so I can really fucking see it. Um, I bought this sealed as well, so this is my fault. Um, wow, I'm a fucking idiot. Anyway. <laughs> hey, fuck it, I'll, I might, I'll still be able to sell this, like, two fucking grand on eBay, and some sucker will still pay for it. Come on, like... It's true. But um, here's the dare side. There. More of the collage images. And then there's the feel good ink side. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I quite like the um, the simplicity, I guess, of each side. I know they're not going to be like perp, you know, they're not going to personalize it for each label. Um, especially when this is at a time where vinyl collecting wasn't really as big as it is nowadays. I think when did the re records like, sort of get back in style? Was it sort of around like 2015, 16 sort of time? That's what I. Notice there was a big boom, and that's sort of how I got into it. Look at me being a fucking poser. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, like I said, Phil Gang's outside, there's outside, with the uh, with the old school Gorillaz logo. Next is Dirty Harry and Kids with Guns. Um, I did a rare Gorillaz record video. If you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll link it below. And uh, I saw this because there's a there's a Kids with Guns single that you can get with El Mignana, and I got it confused with this from the, the singles collection, and I thought it was a bootleg, but nope. There it is there. And then the other side, yeah, Dirty Harry. This is going to be my favourite um, single artwork there. I just love the simplicity of just the, uh, the you know, the Vietnamese sort of war helmet. The Dirty Harry there. With, you got a shotgun shell there, a lighter. And you got the little fist there. Obviously, you know, a direct... I am not going to say a direct copy, but a direct inspiration from, you know, Full Metal Jacket. I don't know if you guys have seen that uh, behind the scenes like documentary with Gorillaz where uh, Jamie just draws a giant cock on the side of it. Uh, if you haven't watched the video, you're probably wondering, what the fuck is he on about? <laughs> uh, there's that Harry. Ah. I like that one, of uh, Noodle with the Glasses. That's really fun, cool. I think that got used for a, um, a magazine uh, cover. Was it Enemy, or was it another one? I can't fucking remember. And then, yeah, other side, we have Kids with Guns. Next, we have El Manana and Stylo. I remember someone selling these individually, and I thought this was a bootleg, because I thought, how the fuck can you have a, a Phase 2 song and a Phase 3 song on one record. That sounds a bit sus, but then I realise it's from the singles collection. Uh, yeah, El Manana and Stylo. 
Do not own El Nino on a 12 inch. That might be one to look out for, actually. This is some real fucking good artwork. It's a shame the reflection on my iPhone is is uh, is blocking it. Let's see if I can turn it a little bit there. There you go. It was looking very sad. Uh, you know, getting shot with a fucking, uh, you know, the helicopter was like shooting at her in the video. Fake, fucking crazy. And then there's Stylo, uh, with a cyborg noodle there. Uh, it's kind of funny how the two. I guess these two sort of do go hand in hand because it's a part of the, the gorilla's lore, I guess, you know, when they thought their noodle died. So they just made a cyborg version of noodle. And then inside, there's El Manana, and then Stylo on the other side. Oh, wait, no, I do. Oh, hang on. Wait a fucking minute. No, look, you can. There is a bit of a difference. Look, El Manana, I don't know if you see that. You've got the floating island there, sort of going down. And then on Stylo, <laughs> you have Murdoch in the Stylo car there. That's a nice little attention to detail. Next, we have Super Fast Jellyfish and on Melancholia Hill. Wish they brought the fucking Boogeyman back. Um, I miss this guy. He's a, he was a great little villain in the Gorilla story. I also miss the uh, Evangelist, because that was like a, that was a character they were going to add, right? It was like a, a competition thing, fucking years ago. I remember, oh, fucking hell, I remember that, that came out. It was promoting, like, um, Internet Explorer or some shit, so you know how old it is. And then, yeah, Superfast Jellyfish, great album cover. This is actually my ringtone on my phone. Um, I, I bought, <laughs> I bought the ringtone when I, fuck, I think that was my first, when I got, like, my first, like, iPhone, fucking years ago. Um, it's been the same ever since, so whenever I hear super fast jellyfish, I'm like, fuck, who the fuck's calling me? Cracking this open, uh, Old Melancholy Hill, oh yeah, you got Murdoch there, with his, uh, pipe, and super fast jellyfish, nah, there's no, there's no jellyfish there, you tricked me, what a shame, oh well. And last, but finally not least, we have Rhinestone Eyes, probably the most over-fucking-played gorilla song now, it was such... This was a fucking good... TikTok has res ruined it, guys. If you're a fucking Gorillaz fan, you're from TikTok, then you have good taste in music, but also fuck you. But there is Don Comatic. Opening this bitch up, we have Ransom Eyes. Right there. Oh, look! It's the Feel Good Inc. Uh, picture disc thingy. <laughs> Don Comatic's on the other side there, Jesus Christ. Uh, well, oh, and then, yeah, you got a little record sort of poking up there and look how angry Russell is my goodness and that's it the box is empty anyways I hope you all enjoyed this video uh, if I do get my hands on the gatefold singles collection I will uh let me know in the description below in the description below yeah yeah do that no leave a comment down below if you can do that I'll let you um tell me if you've heard of this uh, album release before maybe you might even own it and um yeah, let me know what kind of gorilla shit you you have that y y you like. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I've got more gorilla videos on my channel if you want to check them out. You'll be doing me a good favor. Leave a fucking like. Leave a subscribe. Ding my bell. And um, fuck off. <laughs> Alright. Bye everybody.